Okay, well, there's a pretty fuzzy face cam. Hang on. Focus, please. There we go. All right. Uh, Potato McWhiskey. ETA on the stream start. Uh, we usually get gameplay going about 8 o'clock. We just uh, let people pile in up until then. Yeah, who we got in the chat tonight? We got Jack Walmsley. Well, hello. 81HM is here. Oh, good to see you again. Paul Koschwitz, a good morning from you. Oh, different part of the world, I guess. And, oh, Larry Monty, back with his videos. Yes, I'm back for now. Um, actually, I'm probably back for a while. Um, I'm finding it easier to keep uh, a schedule with the live streaming than the off-air off, off -air recordings. So. Rob V94, hey, 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 yourself. And Viper Dave's here again. How you doing, man? Yeah, so, uh, let's see. I got the game all loaded up right now. I was just kind of booting around just before we started up. 
Uh, I've been looking through some hardware at the other machines, uh, the one I blew up and the Linux machine I've been using. So I'm kind of trying to make one machine out of two of them. So I have available a GTX 780 paperweight. <laughs> Yeah, that's the card I blew up. I thought it blew up the machine too because it wasn't responding even when I took the card out, but I popped the BIOS battery out, let it sit for a day and then popped it back in and that reset everything and the thing fired up and seems to be working fine. So I kind of spent a bit of time before the stream uh, setting that up and I'm going to have about five terabytes of storage in it. So I got another SSD coming for the machine I'm on right now. So we're going to have another terabyte uh, SSD in this machine. So that's going to be two terabytes and SSDs only. There's no mechanical drives in this at all. So that's going to be pretty cool. And, uh, well, it's like 2 a.m. in the morning here. Oh, yes. Yeah, that is late. That's kind of what my mornings have been like lately. Like all week I've had late nights and I'm just exhausted at this point. It's been a long week. Tomorrow's my day off. I was thinking about streaming tomorrow, but I think I'm just going to relax a bit. Um, had some late nights this week, all of them. All of them were late nights, so getting pretty burnt out at this point. So hopefully I stay awake through the stream. Uh, fair warning, it is super windy outside. Might have power issues tonight, I don't know. Um, usually have that when it gets really windy like this, so. Here's hoping for the best. Uh, pricey paperweight, yeah. Well, actually it wasn't. Uh, this was donated from Bob Starr. He, uh, he sent me this, a power supply and a CPU as well. I threw it all together in a, on a motherboard, and uh, I've been using that for the last few years and until I started streaming, and I cooked it real good. <laughs> yeah, just didn't like doing that, I guess. Uh, it works a little bit. Uh, you absolutely cannot encode with it. So whatever I was doing uh, is blowing up the encoding it, in it, and it does lock up from time to time. So it's semi-functional, but certainly not reliable, that's for sure. Uh, take a bike ride tomorrow. Well, it's going to be about 50 kilometer winds tomorrow. Going out would probably be really good. Coming back would be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> yeah, kind of like going up hills. Going up hills is a lot of work, but going down the other side is pretty fun. So, uh, yeah, but I am looking towards some bike riding here soon, I hope. It's get, going to get really cold and miserable tomorrow, so... Yeah, it's only going to be about freezing, so no bike rides tomorrow, I don't think. I'll try that later in the week, maybe. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing today, sort of putting that machine together. And the machine that I normally use that I was streaming on for uh, FreeCiv, I'm going to turn into a, like a file server. I'm just going to stuff it full of hard drives and uh, just have it as a, like an offline server thing. So, yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. Yeah, we can probably just maybe go over to the game and have a... I already switched my head over, so I'm not blocking any uh, any info boxes this time, so... Yeah, so last time we met some Gazurians who were down here. And we got a free trade agreement with them pretty much right away. Yeah, so we got a free trade agreement. They like us by plus 24. They also came up and got rid of a pirate base that was on. I think it was their pirate base. It wasn't just a mining station. It was actually their pirate base that they took out. So I snuck a construction ship right over here to grab that fuel. And there's another fuel source here, but it's only a mining station. So these guys might be without a uh, spaceport right now. I don't know if we can tell that. Um, I think it's the Murders Marauders. Is that who's in here? I think so. So we're paying them right now. So uh, I haven't been attacking them just because of that. But the Gazurians came up and kind of kicked them around a bit and uh, gave us another fuel site. So that was pretty good. What I'm thinking, though, is I am going to work on a mutual protection pact with these guys. I think they're going to be a really good ally because they are actually pretty big militarily, I believe. Yeah, they're like... Quite a bit bigger than us. I haven't started building ships yet. That's why I'm down here. But we're going to start getting that going here right shortly. Um, yeah, and we got Tekans beside us who absolutely hate us. And I mean right beside us. That's them here. And I don't know what their planet is like. Uh, about 10 billion people. 
99 quality, 32. So that'd be a nice little home world for us to grab if we can pull it off. But uh, they got a lot of troops on the ground. Yeah, that's not going to be for a while. Yeah, we're going to have to bring many, many transports over, I think, to take that out. So hopefully they run off to invade something and take most of their troops with us. And maybe we can sneak in and snipe their home world. Uh, other than that, I think we only have the Ancient Guardians who absolutely hate us and they will continue to hate us. So that's going to be really challenging. They got 33,000 firepower. Ceridians have 36,500. I have 400. <laughs> I got a little work to do. So I'm going to hit the space bar, see where our numbers are at. And we're probably close enough to 8 o'clock. Um, Potato McWhiskey. Hard to ride the bike here. Rain is rough and roads aren't set up for it oh yeah if they're not really good dirt roads like i like the dirt roads but sometimes they grade them and uh, they usually grade them like the day before i decide to ride them so that's always fun and yeah i could i've blown out a couple legs doing that okay we also have an independent over here another an independent teakin 404 million on it and they got some more silicon which i think we were kind of short on if i recall on the screen uh sort that sort that thank you uh silicon i think we only have one source oh we got two sources uh, i think we found another one somewhere yeah it was in a nearby system so i went over and grabbed that and i do have auto saves on so yeah that's kind of where we're sitting right now and i think that's what i'm going to do is try and work on the gazarians to get a mutual defense pact i don't know whether they're going to go for that like right now uh, let me know if the sound and everything's good uh gazarians yeah plus 24. and we also have Chris, christopher richmond here he's our ambassador and he's going he's plus six percent on the diplomacy so that's probably helping us out a bit too and we are sharing a small amount of trade right now. And yeah, they're looking pretty good to us. So I'm going to try and get this mutual protection pack while they're still quite friendly before something happens. So I'm going to send them a gift. I think we can afford that. And just go have a look. 33. This might work. Propose a mutual defense pact. Thank you for your offer, but we do not desire one. Oh, okay. Even at plus 33. They might come back. We'll see. And what did we get done last time as far as technology? I think we got... Yeah, we're going for the better warp drives. I got better reactors, which I think I upgraded all my stations with. So we're going for the better reactors now. I still got my uh, energy research spike just to get uh, all that stuff done in a hurry. So we'll level that out in a bit and uh what else did we get right we tried to build a resort base but we didn't have entertainment systems yet so that's kind of where we stand and i guess we can just get going and i'm running at 2x i don't want to go 4x because i always end up missing stuff and it looks like we just built a bunch of rangers we did excellent so home rule reserves must look a little bit better right now Yep, 10 ships, that's all that's in there. I'm still waiting for boarding technology. And we're retrofitting our escorts at the moment. Um, looks like they've all been retrofitted. Oh, we got to get rid of these uh, old ships too. And get a tech bonus for that. So I am going to... Where are you? Oh. I don't want that right now. I'm busy. <laughs> we have discovered the archives of Biblis Prime. Oh, okay. This is in the uh, Teak and Homeworld, so there's going to be nothing at it. No, nothing of interest. Yeah. So there'll be another one in there that won't have anything for us. You can go retire at your shipyard. Yeah, you're still a little ways away. And where did I put the other one? I think you're right here. Yep. All right. And we'll retire you right away as well. And I think we're still running zero taxing. Yep. No, no. How are you, man? Always good to see you. 
And this little fleet of escorts, I think I might disband. We'll just get them going independently. Oh, no, 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 no. Fleets. I want my first fleet to be no fleet, and then we'll just automate those. And I might build a few more. When did we do that uh, design? Oh, right, we got the private sector being automatically done. Um, Guardian was 08. That's a couple years ago, actually. Mark three. Yeah, we got the new reactors, so okay. Uh, I guess we finished up with that. I didn't put any uh, energy collection on because I didn't have space. No, no, says he's good. Excellent. Always good to hear. Yeah, let's, um, since I got tons of cash kicking around right now, I am going to build some more escorts. How many did we get? Got nine, so maybe I'll go... There. There's 11 more. That gives us an even 20. And I'm not going to fleet them up. They can just go around and do what they do. Exploration ship is attack under attack by a space slug. Nasty critters. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd like to get that uh, mutual. Oh, it's going up too. Past feelings have been good. Yeah, come around. Protect us. I have no ships. <laughs> uh, did I upgrade my spaceport? Medium spaceport, yes I did. Okay. And construction ships are done. One's done anyway. And I think I was just coming in here to get this stuff. And we sort by distance. And let's see. It's been four. Okay, we already got a space station in there with the uh, Keslon that the uh, pirates were previously on. So I think I might go grab the Eucantian Pearl and the Equestrian Skin. I think we already got Equestrian Skin, but we need the pearls. So we'll grab that. And on we go. Yeah, I'm super tired, man. I spent all day at work today in a mask. That wears you down, man. Chamber of Biblis Prime. There's the other wonder I was talking about. So we don't need to run off and uh, do anything with this. So we'll just investigate. Nothing of interest. Yeah, that's in here. Yeah, I got a double layer mask I'm using. And wow. I have emphysema too. So it's kind of hard for me to breathe in the first place. Not fun. Definitely takes it out of you. Uh, you know what, what I think we'll do is build some troops and maybe come over and look at that. Ooh, a debris field. Excellent. Uh, where is that? Wow. Oh, our explorer intercepted secret communications from the ancient guardians. So the ancient guardians have explored. I'm assuming they're up here somewhere. So they've explored down into the core already. So if we can get a spy to steal their galaxy map, I don't know whether I want to do it. It's kind of a spoiler. But yeah, we can uh, get their galaxy map. Maybe later on, once we get like our local area done, we'll grab the, their galaxy map. And then by then, they'll probably know everything. Oh, I got the game paused. All right, just have a look at a couple things. No drop frames. Excellent connection. Handful of viewers, welcome. And a critical breakthrough while researching entertainment systems. Excellent. So we get a resort basis going. I did design passenger ships, or actually the AI designed them already. So, And target tracking from disassembling the technology in that ship. 
So how much of that did we get? Yeah, 32%, I'll take it. And what's all our explorers doing right now? Oh, we got a couple more construction ships done. Yeah, I think I'll try and pig out on some luxuries. Is Bisbon where I was with the pirates? Doesn't seem to be lighting that up anymore. They do have pirate bases in there, I thought. Uh, can I see that from here? Yeah, in there. So there's another source of fuel in there. I'm going to grab it. There's two more. Sp what on earth is going on here? Grab it again. Let's have a look at that. This system is amazing. Yeah, Pirates got most of the stuff, though. Wow. I just built two. We already got one. And they're still on two. Are you kidding me? There's the one we're going for. That's another one we're going for, I think. And then they got one here. Where's the other one? Well, anyways, there's a few sources in there. Wow. That's an incredible system. What else is in here? Oop. Polymer. Yeah, we, we need to get that system under control. Or under our control, for sure. Ah, there it is. Exactly what I was looking for. Mutual defense pack with the Gazurians. Oh, yeah. Yes, we join you in a mutual defense pact. Yeah, let's see. Our good friends, we feel that you would be it would be in both our interests for to form a mutual defense pact. This would discourage others from launching attacks against either of us. What do you think? I think you're just brilliant, sure. Oh yeah. Alliant Tad. Yep. Um they're giving us fueling rights. Uh, mining rights. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. We give you mining rights in our territory. I don't think I'm going to do it, though. We have mining rights in there, so. So if there's Zentabia fluid or Caribbean spice in their area and we find it, we can actually just go in and build on it if we want. But I'm sure they'll be right on top of it. And now we get to see where all their ships are. And what they're doing on Homeworld. Wow! Thank God they're an ally. They got a large spaceport. No shields. Uh, their Homeworld is at 23 billion already. Man, they grow like mad. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, they got a scenery bonus. Quality 100%. Thank God they're our friends. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Look at that. It's a train. <laughs> Give them a few bucks. Yeah, I already did that. But yeah, we will definitely want to maintain this relationship. And there is another debris field. Our explorer ship has intercepted some more secret uh, communications from the Guardians. Where is that one? Closer, I hope. No. Everything's in the core this time because I didn't start in the core. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a different color. Okay, we have Jeffrey Brown. Is he? Uh, let's go have a look here. Evaded detection after successfully stealing research from the pro of on proton ionization from the Tekans. How much of that did we get? Ooh. Science, please. Oh, yeah. Jeffrey Brown, you're the man. Oh, sort by role. Jeffrey Brown, you have an espionage of 16. And JK, 
Have I seen JK yet tonight? Doesn't look like it. Um, Courageous JK. Espionage 10%. But you got a counter in espionage, so we're kind of keeping you at home. So Jeffrey Brown, let's see if we can get some maneuvering engines off the Biblis. Search. Enhanced maneuvering. There, saves me researching it. Excellent. All right, onward. Uh, let's see, we're at 37. Keep an eye on that for sure. All right, 57% towards the better hyperdrives. Our scientist, Rob V94 at Star Labs, made a critical breakthrough while we're researching hyperdrive technology. Excellent. Way to go, Rob. You the man. And we have a new troop general. Uh, let's see. I think our troop general should be. Potato. Oops. Oh. Here go my fat fingers again. Get out of the way so I can see what I'm typing. Tato. Oh, not pot. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> oh, my cap locks are on, of course. I got a new keyboard and there's an extra row of keys and it's messing me up big time. Tato McWhisky. Is that how you spell it with an E? It's an E. Okay, whiskey. Tato McWhiskey is our new troop general. Uh, Potato McWhiskey, he does a lot of Civ 6 stuff. A lot of Civ 6, uh, Civ 6 stuff. And uh, he's really good at that game. So if you're into Civilization 6, definitely check him out. I'm not sure on the survival rate. <laughs> um... I get ground defense, troop recovery, so be a good defender if nothing else. And we got a new ship captain too. And you are Carl. Alright, uh going up the list, uh do we have yes we do. Rob's there. Oh, here we go. We have Paul. Make sure I spell the last name right here. A -da 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 -da. K O S D -d 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 C H. Ah, keep losing it. I T Z. Is that right? That looks right. Let me know if it's not. And I think everybody's renamed here. Looks like it. Okay, onward. No, no says I've seen a number of his videos this week. Yeah, I was playing Civ uh, actually earlier today because I booted up Steam and the latest uh, DLC for the the uh, season pass or whatever it was uh, came down. So I figured I'd check out the complete game for a change. I think that's going to be it. I think they're working on Civ 7 at this point. I might be mistaken on that, but I think I heard something about Civ 7. <laughs> Here come the Gazurians, <laughs> trading partners. Oh, a money gift. 830, they basically just bought us lunch. But thanks anyways. Uh, I might send a gift back. How about that? There we go. Nice and mutual. 42. And Potato McWhiskey saying, I wouldn't be surprised we get at least one more patch DLC before Civ 7. In like 2023. <laughs> they don't usually do in-game between Civ games, like colonization, yeah. 
Fishes202, hello man, how are you? Uh, we just kind of got started, so not really much to catch up on, other than the Gazarians uh, gave us a, a mutual defense pact, which is going to help us out quite a bit. And I think just to show that we're not a slouch, I'm going to build some more rangers for our fleet. There's 10 more of those. Uh, sort by that. And we'll just throw those in our homeworld reserves for now. Pirates Opera and Pirate Contact. Yeah. We'll find them later. I could do a bit of tech trading with the Gazarians too. I, I have a rule about tech trading. And it's just something I do. I only trade with somebody who is an actual free trade, free trade partner or mutual defense defense partner or whatever. And I only do it once per game year. So if I come in and negotiate a trade, I've got a few things here. I probably don't have money for it though. And I don't, so I can't do much here. There's nothing I can trade to them, but if I had a bit of cash on me, No, hopefully we can steal that, get that in a minute. Or um, the enhanced maneuvering, not the hyperdrive. Hyperdrive, we're getting close to finishing. 69%, or 89, that's 89, I think. And we're saving the galaxy. Too bad I can't do something completely stupid like a ramming maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay. Looks like the Tekans got hyperdrives on their ships now. And they're kicking some pirates. All right, so it looks like we got all three of our construction ships ready to go. Is there anything else in that system that we can grab right away? Bit of helium, bit of gold, Tiderius, steel and stuff. Maybe we'll grab that too. Bit more steel, bit of hydrogen. I guess that's it. So let's maybe hunt down. Ooh. More luxuries. Where is that? Must be close by because we have ships here. So build a mining station on it. And we got one more. What is that? Maybe build something else in this system if we can. Danthifer? I think we already got it, but ooh, what's this one? Ah. Uh, Hidden Victory, yes. Build a mining station there, too. So, I'll populate this one as much as we can. Maybe populate that one. There's six planets, eight moons in there, and quite a bit of stuff. Including, I think we need Aculon, don't we? I'm pretty sure. And we do, so we'll definitely want to get in there. And our research is finished. Hopefully we can get that through espionage. I'm going to go to bigger ships. And I am going to take this opportunity to level out my science so we can get some research done in the other areas now. I got I got the hyperdrives I'm looking for. That's why I had this spike so bad. Or so good, I guess. Uh, so we're at 400. I don't think there's going to be any more technology boosts like we get in the early games. So I can probably go by these numbers fairly closely. I'm going to count on being at 450, 460 fairly quickly, so we'll maybe build it there. Actually, I'll probably just uh, level that out with the same amount. Okay, so let's go do that. Bigger ships are always better. Yes, they are. And we are going to... What was I going to do again? <laughs> I forget what I was going to do. Already. Gotta love this brain. I got distracted by chat. 
What was I going to do? <laughs> I came in with a plan. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I know. Orbital Labs, Mark Three, auto upgrade. Nothing to auto, so we'll just manually upgrade. I guess we'll stick to our Mark II revision A. And we'll sort by category, sort by name, and we will take a bunch of the energy labs off. Uh, let's see, 450, which is what? 150 each. So if I spike the energy to 180, something like that, and put the other two to 150, that uh, should get us there in the neighborhood anyway. So 300, 480. That'll do. Uh, it's a little tight on the energy collection, but that's okay. We can deal with that. All right, good enough. Cannot build this design unless uh, we're at a colony, which we are. So Okay, and we'll get that retrofitted right away. And that'll get us the other science areas up and running. Ah, and a research station. Uh, did I do the regional port Mark II? Revision A Mark II. I did not upgrade that last time I did the designs, I guess. Okay, we'll get that done. Okay, Aculon or a resource? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. And there's our entertainment systems. Yeah. Could go to medical, get a bit more happiness, and then maybe a resource exploitation, make our exploration a little quicker. And we're getting shipboarding after the railgun technology. You asked what you were doing. I thought you were looking for a resource. Oh, no, I was off to uh, upgrade my space station or my research station and forgot. I'm super tired, so you might see a bit of this derping around tonight. Okay, so retrofitting that base is done. There we go, all leveled out. Ooh, high tech is doing very well, 25%. All right, good to go. So we'll be able to sit there for a little minute anyways. How's homeworld looking? 16 billion, 10%. I'd really like to start taxing soon, but we seem to be doing okay without. And there's Jeffrey Brown, enhanced maneuvering. Did you get it all? Oh, you the man. Awesome. So we got some retrofitting to do. Um, I'd like to wait for that, but I really want these warp drives on my ship. So let's maybe get that done. And Guardian Mark III. I'm not sure why that went to a Mark III. I guess I forgot to adjust it last time I did that. So I'm going to go auto, which is going to make it way too big. And we'll edit that. And we can probably take at least one reactor off. That should be fine. Ah, oh, should wish I had my new rail guns. They're almost ready too. I'm gonna cancel for a minute. I'm gonna let that tech finish. Then we'll put ra the better rail guns on our escorts and that'll make a big difference. No worries, I derp out when playing all the time. Yep. <laughs> I keep I keep going through uh like I spot check my uh VODs after I'm done streaming and somehow I keep missing some portions of chat. I guess I just look away and I don't look back, but uh I'm not ignoring you, I'm just distracted easily. <laughs> so we got a better rail guns now. So let's do this again. Guardian Mark IV, no. Uh, I'm just going to call this a Mark III, or actually, you know what? We'll just bring everything to Mark IV. We'll do it that way. So now, um, yeah, I got to take one reactor off. 
gets us back to 217. Uh, let's see. I could either go with a shield or an energy collector. These do sit around quite a bit while they're waiting for mining ships and that to do what they do. So it's probably good to have one on. Um, oh, I can pick on some directionals though. Where are they? Oh, they're called something else now. Thrust vectors. So if I do that and maybe pick on one piece of armor, I could get another shield on it. How come that didn't upgrade? It's still long range gun still. Oh, I didn't hit the, okay, Never mind. No worries, we'll do it this way. Done. And what does that do to my power now? 30, 70, okay, we're still good for power. And we're five over. Uh, of course we are. How else would that go? I hate to pick on armor all the time, but Oh, well, four pieces better than nothing. Okay, new Fangle Guardians. Surveyor, auto. Mark four. 12.5. Uh, what's their size? Ooh, way oversized. I do have a bit of armor. I could take some directionals off. As soon as we're done saving the galaxy. Uh, a lot of people underestimate how hard it is to juggle playing, talking, and reading a chat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to get used to it. Um, the first time really messed me up. But uh, I don't know whether I'm getting used to it. I'm just learning how to ignore chat more. <laughs> all right. So Explorer, uh, not going to worry about an energy collector because they should be moving at all times. Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to take some of these off. That's probably fine. It doesn't really help me out, though. I could put a couple more pieces of armor on it. Not going to worry about shields. If it gets destroyed, I'll build another one. Okay, I'll just save that. Uh, what's your range, actually? Oh, we don't need that kind of range. That's huge range. That's clear across the galaxy and then some. Yeah, it's only an 8 by 8 sector. <laughs> so that's going to free up a lot of space. Yeah, that's probably fine. I'll put one back. Go a little heavy. Oh, come here, you. I could just upgrade our fuel technology, too. All right, you can now have a shield. What's that? 216. Uh... Like I said, you don't need an energy collector, but maybe we'll indulge in a few more engines just to make you a little quicker at doing what you do. Okay, we'll call that a design. And we have the Fabricator, auto upgrade. Or do you have armor already? Let's throw some shielding on. Shielding. That's generally enough. Um, maybe an energy collector. And more cargo, because that's just the way the game nags at you. Cargo. Huh? Really? Wow. This thing's going to be huge. I need another energy collector yet. Wow. And we got to do the little song and dance with all this stuff again. <laughs> having life. We'll put some having life on. Then we'll need more uh, cargo. Nope. Nope, we're done. All right. 1912. It's a little slow to be turning. Uh, I need to take a reactor off, though. Maybe even two. Uh, nope. Put one of those back. 
Okay, lots of cargo, lots of stuff. Hope I can squeeze one more engine. That's probably pretty good. Good enough for now. And then auto, and then manual. Already got some shielding. We're six over. Take a react. Oh, only got two to begin with. What do we need? Six off? That's like one engine, but really no no, we had to we had to really skimp on engines before, didn't we? Uh what is taking all your space? Well, I really hate picking on armor, but there. Uh we'll be redesign we're revisiting these designs before we get into anything heavy anyways. And private sector should be oh I think these should be obsolete. Yeah, those are my designs, but I turned that job over the uh the AI. How are you doing anyway? Yep, already uh, already uh, uh, upgraded the better drives. Um Jerex, Protons. Yep, AI's keeping up pretty good there. Okay, and let's get stuff retrofitted. I'll just come in here and do that. Military ships, so I'll sort by roll, grab all our destroyers. Uh, might not be able to even afford this. Oh, it's only 11. Perfect. Now, the escorts might be an issue. Yeah, can't afford this. Okay, we'll do our escorts in a minute. Get some money built up. Okay, another debris field. Let me guess, a million miles away from us because it's a secret communication from the Ancient Guardians again. All in the core. Look at that. The one time I don't start in the core. <laughs> I always start in the core. I never see this. Uh, three debris fields and then one storyline beacon, I'm thinking. Yeah, there's something in here. So the storyline probably won't progress till we get to at least one of those. And we have intelligence that needs to be done. That's the good thing about putting intelligence on suggest because that comes up and you go, oh yeah. Uh, your counter espionage, what should we get Jeffrey to do? Well, those tickets are pretty easy to spy on, so let's maybe try oops, try that again. What do we got? Ooh, colonization. Yes, please. Definitely. Probably won't get that in one run, but I'm sure you're good for two or three. Retrofits. Christopher Richmond, checking back in from Gazuria. How we doing? We're doing pretty good. Gazurians are now our very good friends with the Mutual Defense Pact. You're doing awesome over there. Keep it up. Yeah, it'd be nice if, like, Boss Garns or uh, what's the other insectoid race? Can't think of off the top of my head. If they were over here or something, we probably have a pretty good uh, trio of power. Well, I don't know whether I can call myself powerful at all. That's us down here. Great Slukins. Not doing so great on military. <laughs> or the victory conditions. But that's okay. We got a nice big brother over here who will help us, I hope. Now they'll... Oh, Deacon's just expanded. So if I declare war on the Tekans, they won't come and help. But if the Tekans declare war on us, they'll be right there. Uh, retrofitting base. Oh, yeah, I built a defensive base. Forgot about that. Oh, and we're under attack. By a pirate. 
Looks like it's been a soon-to-be-dead pirate by the looks of it. Alright, took care of that pretty good. Pirates secretly funded to attack us. Our intelligent network uncovered covert arrangement of the Biblis Prime Syndicate. They have made a secret deal with the pirate faction, the Atuku Council, to attack our facilities. Yes, they must pay for this. Not cool. <laughs> Damn dirty pirates. Never have any buried treasure. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nearly 2 a.m. for you. Wow. Okay, good to see you there, Potato. I'll, uh, I, I do check out your videos quite often. Uh, some of them are pretty good. You get you get yourself into some uh, situations there. <laughs> some of those submitted maps you get, too, are quite outrageous. New ship captain. All right. Uh, we have... We have two of them. Okay, I got to name two of them. I don't know whether I have that many people in chat right now. Uh, we use Christopher, No, No, Paul, Vicious. Are you in here? Yep. Okay, I don't see anybody. So I think Rob's there. Viper Dave. He did put Viper Dave somewhere, right? Yep, he's our he's our leader. Of course we did. Okay, I guess I'll wait until we see some more comments. So I got two ship captains to rename. Anybody else? I don't think so. We're good to go. I don't think I've got anybody killed yet this episode or this series, right? I think I still got all my uh, scientists. <laughs> We do have two of them. We got Rob V and we got Silver Knight. Critical breakthrough while researching medical systems. Way to go, Rob. Awesome. Oh, got freighters under attack. All right, do we have enough? No, we have no money. I might have to start taxing here shortly. We're at 18 billion. I could probably throw a bit of taxing on. I think I might. Diplomatic creation change. We trade with you again now. Need more broken junk? Send <laughs> So send some to us, okay? I'm going to send your own ships back to you. There's your junk. <laughs> uh, no, no, says I still have time to kill a character. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no one dead yet, but stick around. And we have all our construction ships idle again. I still got stuff in my homeworld system here, too. But I do like to run and grab whatever luxuries I can find. A Danthifer we got. There's another source of silicon. I should almost grab that. Uh, do we have Trillion down? We got one source, yeah. I'm just going to try and look for ones that we don't have yet. Vodkal? I think we got Vodkal too. No, we don't. And there's Jacanta Ivory there too. And we don't have any of that either. So, where is that? I want to make sure I'm not in the middle of a pirate base or something. Yeah, that works. we got our good hyperdrives now. We can get back and forth to this, no problem. So, we will grab you. And we will build a mining station. Pull up the right screen would help. Yeah, this messes me up. My mouse at work is a different speed than my mouse at home. <laughs> And I keep trying to match it, and it's not going well. Uh, let 
let's see. I think we're probably starting to get out. Ooh. Kaguar fur. What is that? That's decent as well, I guess. Build. Oops. Select a ship first. Proto miner. Still got one more. Tell you what, just do that homework. There we go. Okay, off we go. Uh, how's our relationship these days? 39. Oh no, we're dropping. Maybe a small gift or something. Well, even my large gift is pretty small, so do that. And yeah, back to 43. There we go. Let's see if we can maintain the 40s with them. Our scientist, Silver Knight, located at Star Lab, has increased their high tech research level. It's now plus 16. Excellent. Yeah, let's maybe look at some taxing. It doesn't have to be a huge tax. I still want to keep a growth rate going uh, as much as I can. So maybe we'll just try like a 10%. So we're not losing 50,000 a freaking tick here. <laughs> So try uh, 25, I'll try 15, yeah, I'll try that, Let's see what that gives us. So 10%, let's we'll see where that ends up. There, that killed the cash flow dead anyway. Still 10, oh, down to 6. That's not bad. We'll do it. Not growing as fast, but uh, exploration ship, exploration ship. Oh yes, that's what I was going to do: is get a bunch of troops together. Uh, let's build. I don't know. Let's kill our cash, everybody. <laughs> I'll take six for now. Escort is under attack. Let's see how you make out. You're not upgraded yet, though. I don't think that would have helped if it was upgraded. So we're going to have some pirates around here. But they only got one troop on the ground. And I do have to design some troop transports, I just realized. Get that done. And troop transport. Uh, evade. I guess. Uh, invade immediately, yes. And we're just going to call you a dropship. Mark 4. I just use the mark system to sort of keep track of my head just where I've left off upgrading sort of thing. It's I don't have any anything more to it than that. Uh we'll go with a hundred uh maybe two hundred armor. Maybe beef these up a little bit. They sit around for quite a while, so I'll put an energy collector on them. We'll throw a handful of protons, a handful of thrust vectors. When did I get fighters? I guess I got, yeah, I put those on my, uh... oh, can't do that. I think I put those on my uh, mining stations, if I'm not mistaken. Or is that one of the other playthroughs I started? I'm getting confused now. I've started this thing four times and I don't know what game I've done what in. Uh, we'll come back to having life in a minute. And we'll put on a handful of those. I'm um, going to maybe forget weapons for now. I'll use the... Uh, I'll use the engines to get in quick and drop. And we'll definitely put on some shielding. Some reactors. Two of them, I guess. A warp bubble. Okay, that looks fine. Oh, we still need a command center. 
That would help. So one, two, three. All right. Ooh, more engines, please. Yes, I want this to be super quick if I can do it. And that's way too many. That's not super quick. That's not super quick at all. All right, let's pull 100 of the armor off then. Uh, I'm only halfway to the bigger ships, so I'll have to make something hastily, I guess. Okay, there's 17. I wouldn't mind it quicker. I could go with two transport compartments and then just take more ships. Take three ships instead of two. That makes sense. And that gives us another room for one of those. 19. Anywhere else we can trim? I really don't want to pick on that because if they fall under heavy fire, they're going to need them. They're not going far either, are they? They're just going next door for now. So I could probably pull these back a bit. Maybe do that. That gives us more engine space. And I could get one more if I pull one little piece of armor. Oh, two pieces of armor? I don't know whether I'm into that. But I will maybe pull a directional. Thrust vector. Okay. 26. I don't know whether we sprint to planets. I don't think we do. So this will be our speed 26. So that's not bad, I guess. And that should be enough fuel to get to where we're going. All right. We'll call that a design. And we'll save the galaxy. Oh. Uh, Mark, how are you tonight? Uh, do you use a special gaming mouse for gaming? It's a G Pro. Um, I don't know what you can see that just a standard g pro um pretty much get them anywhere i just bought it like a month ago so it's uh it's the first gaming mouse i've had it's only got a, like a couple extra buttons but okay so there's a drop ship done uh how's our troops coming yeah they're gonna be a minute so i might actually have the bigger ship size by the time they're done anyways yeah get out of there God, I didn't have a ship captain on these. Oh, yeah, we're going to come over one at a time and get destroyed, are we? Hmm. That is not optimal. Let's maybe grab. Ooh, need repair. Uh, what's your fuel range? Why am I not seeing a fuel range? Oh, that's pretty good fuel range. I probably overkilled that. Okay, well, we can grab that fleet once that repairs. Maybe come over and protect this system a bit. Oops. Pirates operating pirate contact? No thanks. And our agent Jeffrey Brown evaded detection again with colonization. How much of that did you get? Oh, a little sliver. 14%. I don't know, five or six more runs, you should have it. Off you go. <laughs> Enjoy. Hope you like I hope you like the 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 um Tekans meat or whatever it is they eat. I forget what it is. There's some kind of thing that in their description. Um so Jeffrey Brown. Let's go and do that again. You're gonna be on the Tekan homeworld for a while. Speaking of Deacon. Hey, all right. Speaking of Deacon. And they're furious with us. They instinctively dislike us and they covet our colonies and resources. Really? Got like four colonies. I guess because we're so close to each other. That's going to be war soon, I think. They got three colonies now. That, I think, is going to be a war real soon. So I better get ready for that. We're almost done shipboarding. That'll be handy. 
Uh, what should we get after that? Um, oh, I didn't know I had that. So our attack strength is up 25% already. I didn't realize I even had that. Uh, after that... Hmm. Not sure which way to go on weaponry. Uh, what do they usually specialize in? Can't remember. I've never played it. I hardly played the Slukins before, so... I know we got to get to... Actually, yes. This. These are special uh, Starburner engines available to the Slukins only. They're the... Pretty much... I think they're the best engines in the game. 2150. Oh, 2150. Those are the best engines, actually. Oh, no. 29. Yeah, these are the best engines in the game for sure. I think I'll just queue that up. Unless I want to go here. Try to get back here. I'll make that decision in a bit. Ah, money. 1944 credits. Well, they bought us lunch before. That's dinner, then. Appreciate that. Our bug buddies down here. Yeah, we're not meeting too many empires, are we? But we are kind of out in the rim. I think most everybody's probably down here somewhere. Yeah, they got three systems now. How many? Uh, four colonies. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Okay, that's enough of that. Go. Enough is enough. And they are retrofitted to the latest designs. Not a huge amount of firepower, though, but there's a lot of them, so. Wow, look how fast that's going. I get used to playing the mods where everything's slow, slow, slow. It gets a little quicker, a little quicker, a little quicker. This is just massive all of a sudden. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what was all that? Okay, engine success. Uh, we already sent you off. Character promotion scientist Rob V, located at Star Lab, has increased her high tech research to 27. And he also made a critical breakthrough while researching enhanced construction. So the last 30% is going to be triple speed. Excellent. All right. That looks like their lead ship there. Not that it matters a huge amount, but hopefully there's a ship captain or something on it we can kill. Ah. That's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Who we got on this? Vicious, what ship are you on? Uh, commanding, uh, I didn't say what ship you're on. How can I figure that out? Probably the first one, yes. And you do have three damage. And this is not going well, so... Oh, you're escaping already, I think. No, that's not you. Okay, you go that way. Go, go, go. Yep. Carbon fiber discovered on Calamari Prime. Cool. Not bad for a planet we didn't have anything on. And did we scare them off finally? <laughs> what did we end up with here? Oh, no. Wow. 
And I think we're gone here. What's this? That's another ranger. So let's get this fleet out of here. Go prepare. All right. Uh, intelligence agent Jeffrey Brown has acquired a new character trait, xenophobic. And that... Plus 10% counter-espionage, minus 10% concealment. Excellent. All right. And we have some science finished. Really? Did I not queue anything else up? I guess I didn't. thought I did. Uh, we could come sort of towards carriers. But I wouldn't mind getting torpedoes going. I do like torpedoes. I could get better pulse, I get out of pulse blasters. Maybe get into some uh, Maxis blasters. Maybe upgrade to those. And I think the same thing for the missiles. Oh, we already done that. Okay, we got our concussions already. Could save a little bit of money on our troops next. And we'll try that. Well, we'll do that. We'll see what that does for us later. And... Here we go. How many troops we got built? Oh, it looks like they're all ready. Okay. I didn't build any of those transports I designed, did I? <laughs> uh, I want to take six troops, two each, so I need three. So make a new fleet with those. And we'll rename the third fleet to... Uh, first, Invasion Force. Force. Okay. So as soon as they're built, and that's automated actually, we don't want that. All right. <laughs> We'll get the bottle of glue out and put our home world defense back together. <laughs> and how are we doing with the Gazarians? Uh, still 41. Dropped a little bit, but not bad. The scientist Ravi has increased energy research level. It's now 25. Wow. Plus, you are creative, which increases chances of critical research success or failures. So that could be good news, could be bad news. Vicious 202. I was a little worried I wasn't going to make it. I was too. That's why I pulled the ship out right away. Uh, did I see another name pop in here? Yes, I did. Ah, here we go. I have a ship captain. I think this one and this one need to be renamed yet. So we have Mark. And just check the well, spelling of your last name. A T H E A. Oh. Okay, let's try that again, Mark. <laughs> uh, okay. You're my new uh, ship captain. Hopefully, I don't get you killed. <laughs> and I still got one more, I believe this one, but I don't think I've seen any new names pop up yet. So if you're lurking in chat, say something. Uh, what time we got? Uh, Nine o'clock. Halfway through for tonight. Yeah, I was thinking about a stream for tomorrow. I was going to do something different. I think I need the day off. I'm pretty tired. I don't want to overdo the streaming thing. I want to make sure I keep it going. So, 
But yeah, I think we'll do something like a Mystery Monday. There's our troop transport. And just pick a random game or something. That won't be tomorrow, though. Uh, Lofty Citadel of Nespus Major. Okay, we will investigate those ruins. And technology discovered. Gravitic weapons. Ah, 36% of it. I don't generally indulge in gravitic weapons, but I do like tractor beams, so that'll get us there a little quicker. Uh, I might just throw that in the queue. And go to vent location and pause for a second. And that looks like a guardian. Ah. Is that a guardian mining station? It is. So the guardians are over here somewhere. Wow, we're going to be pretty knuckled in here. So the Guardians are over here somewhere, and the Teakins are here. We're going to have to really fight for some territory, I think. But I'm going to do my usual. I can't remember if I uh, did the last one I discovered. Oh, I think they're in the Teakin homeworld. So. And again, I just uh, renamed the star. Come into the editor, do that, so that I can just look at it out here and know that I've discovered those runes, because later on I might have to chase runes around to keep the storylines going. So it's nice to know at a glance what I've seen already. I don't think we have any others. I think I caught them all so far. JK, there you are. I was looking for you earlier. Late to the party. Good evening. Good evening yourself. Yeah, you're still with us. I haven't killed you off yet. Oops. Oh, come here. Yep, you're still our uh, intelligence agent. Uh, I'm still using you as counter espionage right now because Jeffrey Brown has an espionage of 16, so I've been sending him out. He also has 20% counter, but um, might take you out on some sabotage missions in a bit. And we have finished everything we had going here. Excellent. Uh, I might just pop into colonization anyways. And we'll get Jeffrey to keep stealing that tech, and we'll research it ourselves. We'll get there as quickly as possible. Yeah, so JK, we have a mutual defense pact with the Gazurians. They are second place in military strength beside the Ancient Guardians. So, very good ally for us. And we have Christopher Richmond, our ambassador there, doing wonderful things for us. So the Ancient Guardians over here. I was really hoping for another insectoid. Throw a stick of dynamite in the space hole. Got it. <laughs> okay, and Jeffrey Brown has stolen some more colonization for us. We are now 29% done. All right, Jeff, you know what to do. Off you go. We'll get that sooner than later. And I had a thought of something I should do, but it's gone. Oh, I know what it was. Grab our invasion force. Oop, no, I'm Garrison. And we will load those troops. Ah, oh, you guys, how many of those do I have left? 18. I had 20. I've only lost two? Here it was worse than that. I think I lost a uh, explorer, though. Oh, and construction's probably done. Oh, yeah, big time. Well, I think I'm just going to pig out on Homeworld for now. Get these done. Yeah, what else we got in there? Nothing really special. I know there's some asteroids kicking around too. I could probably mine, but... I should actually get them upgraded. They do have better warp drives now. Ah, speaking of that... Retrofit. 
all of my explorers. And let's grab four more. Let's take a look at the roster. And we'll leave those automated. Yeah, JK, I, I was really happy to get that mutual defense pack. I wish they'd send some more sh uh, I'm going to say, I hope they send some more ships up to this system and clean these pirates out for us. I am still paying them. It's costing us 5k a year. Not entirely sure they even have a space station left. Because the Kazarians destroyed it, and their ship count's going down. So I get the feeling they're probably without a uh, spaceport right now. With any luck. But I do see the Kazarians coming into this station here to refuel. So I get the feeling they might be bringing some ships this way. Yeah, a couple more. Now they're bringing them back too, so I don't know. Yeah, wait till you see this home world. It's wild. <laughs> oh, my escorts. No, I haven't, Paul. Thanks. Uh, we'll do that right now. I got the cash for it. I have not retrofitted my escorts. Okay, I think that's all. Oh, no, that's not all of them. I forgot to scroll down. There we go. See, that's what I like about having live chat. Reminders. <laughs> if I miss it, somebody else catches it. When you do uh, the pre-recorded stuff, it's like three episodes later. It's like, okay, I guess I'll fix that now. Okay, here comes the rest of our explorers. Cash flow is surprisingly good. What's going on? I'm taxing. <laughs> that home world resembles the activity of an angry bee's nest. Yes. Or at least they're friendly bees. Uh, do I have to? Uh, diplomacy is still in the... I'm going to try to shoot, keep uh, diplomacy in the 40s. I don't know whether there are any kind of trade. Oh. Okay, so 14, 10, 24. So if I do a trade, I won't be able to do another one until 15, 10, 24. So I, can, I only do one a year with a trading partner. If I want to, I don't know whether I want to yet. Ooh, shipboarding. Oh, that's me. Eh, I already got it. Which reminds me, I got to do frigates too. I can get frigates designed. Enhanced engines. Well, we're going for our own special engines. Advanced maneuvering. Enhanced hyperdrives. That's 1.2 million though. Hip jump inhibiting. Enhanced beam weapons. I got that queued up. I wonder if you would trade that for medical systems. It's a pretty close trade. I don't know. No, you want a little more than that. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, how about a bit of cash? Oop, that's probably a little much. I've tried 10,000. Not yet. Another 10. That's all I got. No. 194, eh? Well, that's 20,000 by 36, but I am making 10K, so I could probably go one more. Really? 30,000? You don't want 30,000, eh? Well, I don't have much more than that. I really don't want to give you... Well, I guess I could give you some weaponry. Or how about entertainment systems? 
medical and entertainment. And can I get something else then? Not really. Do you have cash? Wow, that's giving away the farm. But let's see what this does for our... Uh... Yeah, two points, gee. I gave away the farm for two points. Oh, well. Anyways, they can get happier now. I didn't give them any uh, weaponry, so that's pretty good. Uh, yes, design a frigate. Add new. One frigate. And we'll give you... I wouldn't mind enhanced armor. Oh, we can go to 300 now, too, can't we? Ah! That's going to make things a lot easier. So I'm going to call this my... Uh, what did I use to call these? Border, I guess. A violator? Yeah, border. Mark IV. And we got armor. I might try and double that if I can. Because he's got to get right up close and personal in order to board stuff. So a salt pod, we'll try two. These generally live in fleets of four or six, so don't have to go too crazy. Try an energy collector, handful of protons, handful of thrusters. I think I got to do something with my spaceports too. Seventy four. So we're actually pretty good still. I'll give you five of those. And we'll go with Maxis Blasters. I don't want to destroy the ships when we're trying to board them. So thirty firepower. Thirty-five. Uh, let's try to get the life support sorted out. Oh, I need a command center yet. That would help. That's a commerce center. Have in life. So we need five of those. So it means we need five of those too. And many engines. Wow, that's a lot slower than I like. Wow. That is, but again, we can probably tweak this up later when we get our better engines, too. Well, we'll go with that for now. Automatic. Okay, and we'll build a bunch. There's half a dozen. Go with that for the moment. And we're not sorted properly. Oh, one more. Go, oh, Terry. And we'll throw those into home world reserves as well. Okay. Uh, home world reserves should actually be automated. Uh, did I set up my... No, I have not. So I need to set up the stance. So we're going to get these guys to... Uh, base themselves at Homeworld. We'll get them uh, to oh, defend. Hit the wrong button here. And we'll go with the uh, defense system. So base that Calamari Prime, defend the system, and that's good. Pirates secretly funded to attack Empire. The Gazarian Hive made a secret deal with the pirate faction, the Atuku Council, to attack the ship of the... <laughs> of the Tekans. Excellent. No, we're not going to warn them about it. We'll keep that to ourselves because the Gazarians are our buddies. Oh, yeah. And you guys are going somewhere. Ooh. Why are you so terrible? Not damaged. 
Oh, you're escorting something. So you're matching the speed of whatever it is you're... Oh, I see. There he is. So he's probably going the same speed. 4166. 4166. So yeah, he's matching the speed of the ship he's uh, escorting. And what's going on here? Uh, I just saw some fly by. Hang on. Ship completed. Character promotion. Ambassador Christopher Richmond, located in uh, Carrion 1. Diplomacy is now plus 27. Sweet. And escort is under... Oh, let me guess. You went out there again, didn't you? Yep. Uh, that's, that's, that's upgraded, actually. Let's see. Thirty firepower, fifty four, three twenty range. Oh, you have real guns though. Looks like you've already fired off one of your uh, boarding pods. Oh, do you only have one? Uh, looks like they've fired one already. But okay, see how this works out. Probably not good, but there's no ship captains on it. No. Case okay, escaping. Go, go, go. Uh, go. There we go. Oh, at least it got away. Now, speaking of which, first invasion force. You go to there. And, General Potato McWhiskey. I don't even think he's going to be here to see his demise. I mean, his victory. So you go to first invasion force. And we'll see how that works out. Uh, he might have more traits than what's showing here, too. He might have a, a ground attack as well. But we won't know until we actually utilize him a bit. So the idea here is just to run in and drop the troops as quickly as possible. And hope that we can get it done before the pirates take these ships out. Oh. Yeah, that pirate attack on the Tekans. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Christopher did some fancy talking to get that deal to happen. Uh, frigates, escorts are still retrofitting. Yeah. Okay. Ah, whoa. That's bad timing. Uh, what we could do. Move here. And if we time it right, we can jump over here while they're coming over to attack us. And Jeffrey Brown just did another successful mission for colonization. We're now 59%. You know what to do. Oop, wrong one. Colonization. Espionage, 26. Uh, okay. Now, where is everybody? Yeah, here they come, so go. Go, go, go. Yeah, there's ships right there. Go, 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 go. Yeah. We have to get the troop general on the ground. There he is. Okay. Oop. Uh, we lost the ship. Let's see if we can get you out of here. Nope. Uh, but at least the troop general made it to the ground. So he's no longer on the ship. So Potato McWhiskey. On the ground, you're fighting with your troops. Yeah, they're not going to get away. New ability for our empire. The recent conquest of planet Tika Mon or Tarek Monda One has brought the Tikans into our into our empire, imparting this new special ability to us. Industrious miner. Oh, yes, I just remember something I got to go do. 
four uh, percent for mining and natural merchants uh, colony income plus three I just remember something I have everything being exterminated including our buddies the Gazarians uh, we are going to assimilate same family so any insectoids we're going to assimilate uh, we're going to exterminate all other races now here we're going to in yeah we're going to assimilate and then we can enslave the Tekans. so they're not going to like that too much minus 27 we got lots of troops on the ground we better get them garrisoned that's why i brought six i didn't need six for the invasion but we'll probably need six to hold it So I think that looks fine. All right. So yeah, I don't want to be exterminating any Gazarians coming over to uh, to migrate to us. So we'll do that. And I need to get rid of this pirate base. How do those troops make out? Yeah, you got one damage, so we can probably take that pirate base out fairly quickly. Who is it? Murderous Marauders. Oh. Well, I think it's time to say goodbye to our deal. I think it's time. I'm just going to cancel that. Goodbye. Now they're very, very angry. Well, they're about to get angrier. There, I'm attacking their base. Oh! Uh-oh. I didn't realize they'd get that powerful. What on earth happened here? They must have dropped troops or something. We got a slight edge, and that is it. Uh oh, <laughs> I might have uh, messed this up. Troop maintenance saving minus ten. Ew. Ground defense. Okay, that's good. It's a good thing he's here. Ooh boy, that's going to be a tough fight. That's pretty close. Wow. Or are they rebelling? No, they're not rebelling. It's just that uh, I should have waited on this. We might be okay, but that's pretty close. I don't know whether I can get more. I don't have any troops built. That is going to be very close. I'm not sure I want to watch it. <laughs> uh space control that's what we need hang on hang on let's grab uh homeworld reserves let's get them over here oh hmm i need that space control i'm gonna get that i have 522 firepower that these are much better ships with much better range 320 what kind of weapon is that is that a torpedo no i'm not sure what kind of weapon that is uh kind of stumped on that one Okay, I guess I won't worry about it. Uh, hmm. Man, that's a tight fight. I'm getting 7k from the population. Good thing. Now, if the population turns on me during this, I'm probably screwed. Wow. That's a nail biter, man. Oh, no. We're losing this. Um, I got to try and get space control over here. Even if it's just for a couple of minutes. Because space control, I think, gives us another 25%. It's just 202. I think I can take it. 
Another debris field. Gee, let me guess. Right in the center of the galaxy. What do you think? <laughs> Brutal. I've never seen that much of a cluster of debris fields. They're always spread out whenever I'm in the center. Insane. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, most of their ships took off. Good. Uh, let's grab this fleet. Twenty-five percent space control, but we're not going to do it. We are not going to do it. Uh, how's that fleet looking? Uh, where is our Admiral Vicious? Is right here. Ship is still in good shape. Uh, actually, stay near the planet. I don't think this is going to help, but. We're going to lose that. I'm going to have to retake that, I guess. Well, I better build some more troops. I hang some more troop carriers, I guess. I think I lost all those, too. Actually, I'm going to build a few more. To have them. Garrison. Yeah, these guys are done. I'm going to have to retake this planet. This is not going to happen. Defending Teak and Population. I think they rebelled at the same time as what happened. There goes Potato McWhiskey. <laughs> I killed one, everybody. We're back on track. <laughs> PC Dragon, how are you, man? How's the bug swarm doing? The bugs are swarming. The potatoes have died. <laughs> uh, we tried to take this planet and just lost it. Oh, we didn't lose it. It's still ours, but there's no troops on the ground. Uh, can I build a couple? There's 500. Yeah, let's see if we can do this. I don't know why that's going to help us out, but. Okay. Uh, I'm probably missing all kinds of stuff while I'm concentrating on this. Colony defends against the uh, invasion. Our attempted eradication of the Murderous Marauders pirate on has failed. So we didn't get the pirate base out. Uh, Fleet Admiral Vicious 202 has acquired a new trait. Poor Space Attacker. And Ship Captain Mark uh, Olicha has increased ship to maneuvering skill. And what else happened? Mintato McWhiskey died. Okay. Ah, uh, ship stranded. What's that? Medium freighter. Uh, okay. That's fine. Uh, might as well send you for a repair. There's not much else you can do here. Potato wasn't even here to participate in his own death. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> and the inhabitants are... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to lose this. We are probably going to lose that. Oh, they're rebelling. They're just not paying taxes. And the Gazarian race have started the seven-year change. For the next two years, they will have increased population growth. That's what they need. Yeah, like, they don't grow fast enough. Oh, here comes a strike force. That's the Gazarians. I still don't know where the Guardians are other than in here somewhere.
All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just going to automate the construction ships. I keep forgetting about them. And I might even build a couple more. Yep, that's probably slowing us down a bit. There, we'll double the number of them. And we need to retrofit these anyways. So I'll retrofit and automate. Retrofit and automate. Retrofit and automate. There we go. So that should get that happening a little better. Yeah, I just can't keep up to it properly, so I better get uh, better get the AI to do it. I've only got two mining station designs here. So it's not like I have them separated out like I usually do, where I absolutely have to be manually controlling. Who was in there? Oh, 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 Boscarns. I've never been so excited to see a Boscarn. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. If they're angry with us. They naturally like us. We respect your good reputation, and we have our first contact uh, uh, hit here. So minus 34, so we're definitely going to be in a positive once this goes away. So we're going to give it a bit of time, and then we'll start uh, seeing if we can butter them up. But in the meantime, I might send JK out just to quickly grab a map. It's going to leave us a uh, you back. Uh, 1605, you're gone for another couple months, so I'm going to get JK to go grab a map off them. Uh, better check and make sure they don't have any. Nope, no spying bonuses. Okay, so JK, who is courageous, is going to go over to the Boscarns, and you are going to steal the territory map. At 90%. Off you go. All right. Yeah, I don't need to know where their colony is. <laughs> Scatter. <laughs> yep, I think there's a pirate in there. <laughs> Still recruiting. Uh, uh, yes, I got a build. Do I have any left? Probably not. We'll build three more troop transports. Who wants to be a troop general? <laughs> uh, new fleet. And we'll rename that fleet once again to the first invasion force. I thought we already had one. Don't ask. Just don't ask. <laughs> You're better off not knowing. Yeah, what happened to your last troop general? Don't ask. All right, exploration ship is under attack by a capital ship. Uh -oh. Sixty-two. These are normal pirates. I didn't even crank their difficulty up. Where's that? Way over there. Actually, I should come in and start taking these out and start mining those. That's what I should do. You guys aren't really doing a whole lot. I should get an actual attack force together, but let's just come over and, because we're not uh, friendly with them anymore. So let's grab that. And I might just queue up a mission to build. Oh, I can't do that till that's gone. Yeah, there's another source of fuel. Independent colony discovered. It's not the one we are trying to take. Uh, Continental Calandria. Nope, that's not the same one, is it? Nope, that's a different one. Same pirates in it, really? Man, these things are all over the place. 
Okay. Try to get over there, I guess. And how's our troop building going? Uh, well, I got five. We'll get one more and we'll take another run over here. Oh, private sector's getting murdered. Oh, here come my Gizzy partners. <laughs> A uh, great beacon of Leantar Prime. We have discovered the great beacon of Leon, and we already know it's in a great rune, and it sits somewhere, and it's pretty, and everything. Investigate. Nothing of interest. What is that? Ooh. Heading right for it, too. Abandoned ships. One's a colony ship. Actarian. Ocean planets. All oh, right, I'll take that. Got a cruiser. 84 firepower. What is on that? Point defense. Maxis blasters. Nuclear devastator. It's a bombarding weapon. And concussion missiles and a tractor beam. Damage control unit. Weak targeting. Wow. Nice one. Mega density, mega dense, mega density fuel cells. Shadow Ghost ECM. Raptor targeting. A little bit quicker, too. Excellent. Okay, you. Okay, what's the other one? It is a frigate. Yeah, nothing special here. Other than. Eh. I should almost send that one for disassembly. It's got some good advanced tech on it. It's only got 18 firepower, so yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll send you to retire. You are going to join my world reserves, and you are going to go to Homeworld and to save the galaxy. What's that 12th fleet up to? Uh, 12th fleet. Oh, this one. Oh! Uh, let's have a look here. Ah, they're at war. No, they're not. They're, but they're very angry. Yeah, they're, uh, they're not getting along whatsoever. So yeah, I wonder what they are up to. They're coming in here right now. Uh, that colony ship, do I still have that selected? Yes, I want to bring you to Homeworld. Okay, so that's that. And Jeffrey Brown is back from another run at colonization. 89% now. Well, I'm not going to send him out again for that. But we will keep spying on them. I might keep them at home just for now till JK gets back. Just to have some counter espionage here. I think we'll do that. Probably good plan. Yeah, let's uh, keep an eye on that 12th fleet. Uh, there's something else I wanted to do. And 15 strike forces in here. Oh, these pirate ships are something, I'll tell you. All right, well, we'll leave that. We'll go see what the 12 fleet's up to. Uh, scientist Rob B has made a critical breakthrough. Improved defense tactics, excellent. Come on, are you going or what? Not good fuel, are you? Nope, there they go. Oh, they changed destination up here. Oh, nope, nope. They can't make up their mind. Wow, look at this, eh? Ooh. It's good to have friends with powerful uh, military. <laughs> 
Pirates secretly funded to attack Empire. The Gazurian Hive made a secret deal with the Pirate Faction. Okay, uh, same same deal as before. They're uh, hiring them to attack the Tikans. We'll keep that to ourselves. Oh, guys, make up your mind. Just can't seem to figure out where they want to attack. Okay, uh, let's see how our troops are doing here. Oops. Double clicked. When I should have single clicked. So we should have enough to load that. So let's go. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Ungarrison. And we'll load those troops. Now, how many ships do those pirates have? Is that the Atuku Council? 75. Look at that number go down a little bit. Oh, that's what I was doing. This in here. So, now that that's gone, I'm going to grab a construction ship. Uh, you're retrofitting. I'll grab one of these that are retrofitting. And we will queue up a gas extractor. All right. And uh, home world reserves. You keep going. And... Oh, yeah. Kill that one. Yeah, we'll clean them out of the system and we'll get all this built for ourselves. Man, what's going on over here now? Ooh. I really don't want to be on a ship in that system right now. <laughs> Lost ship location revealed. After destroying the pirate base, uh, we have just... Out of court. Informa uh, but a banned cruiser in its city's adversary. The information is damaged. Appears to be a cruiser adrift somewhere in the Bispin system in C1. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Abandoned ship in the Bispin system in C1. That is definitely where we are. Uh, I don't see any. Oh, let me guess the pirates got it or something. Oh, of course they did. Are you kidding me? It just spawned and the pirates got it because they had a station here. Fleet. No, other fleet. Oh, it's on this thing. Ugh. I don't know whether I can do that. Okay, Vicious, in you go. Oh, took off. Uh, I think it left. Yes, it did leave. Okay, continue this. Ah, got robbed. Big time. And the Tekans are in uh, trade sanctions imposed, so that's fine. And uh, I'm going to grab another construction ship. And we'll queue next mission to build a orbital miner and I think I canceled a retrofit order on the other one didn't I it didn't get the order I think I meant to do this I tried to assign it directly and I should have uh, gave it a queued mission okay pull the gas miner there still not getting it I think it's because it's in for retrofit at the moment I can't assign anything to it so let's uh, grab that fleet again. That should be just about done. And we'll go see what's going on over here. Oh, what a mess. Well, I know where that went. <laughs> That's damage too. Yeah, take that out of the sky. If I can't have it, destroy it. Lost location. Re oh, here we go again. <laughs> Eridus system in C1. Okay, so after destroying this pirate base, we uh, in the data core we found information of a abandoned cruiser named Growling Liberty in Eridus system in C1. 
Oh. No. It's probably not going to happen. So, C1. Eridus system. I'm not seeing that. Uh, C1, right? Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Ah, there it is. Uh, and I do have an escort in here. Move to 208 firepower. It's got missiles on it. I'll take it. And I'm just going to slow the game down a bit because there's a lot going on. Oh, heading up there now. Well, if nothing else, these guys will take out some ships and stuff for us. And where's my... Invasion force. Bandit ship encountered. Shall we investigate? Please don't blow up. Hey, bandit ship inquired. We have investigated the bandit cruiser, Growling Liberty. The ice moon, blah, blah, blah. Disassembling it, of course. It's alternatively, hey, we should keep this powerful ship and defend our empire. That sounds like a plan. And there's a beacon going off in D5. D5. Oh, yeah, right down here. <laughs> wow, look at that core. Nothing but beacons going off. Oh, we got somebody in here, too. Who's this? Ah. Boscarans are here. I'm kind of liking the way this looks. Got Gazurians here, Boscarans here. Guardians are in here somewhere, and the Tekans are here. So one, two, three of us in this little cluster here. I'm liking the look of this. I'm really liking the look of this. And how are we making out with them? Minus five. Naturally like us. They like our style of government. Let's just throw them a quick gift. There you go. Minus one. Past dealings have been good. And I have been completely ignoring chat. <laughs> Doesn't look like much happened. Uh, let's see. PC Dragon, he's doing good. Thanks. Glad you could join the stream live for a bit. Got all of Easter off. When is Easter? Is that? That's not this weekend, is it? No, can't be. Because I ended up working Friday. <laughs> no, it must be next weekend coming. Uh, is Mark a brand of ship? Oh, you mean the MK? I'm not sure. I know I make things Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. It's uh, just an incremental way of keeping track of things. Uh, JK, brave, brave, and dumb. Double trouble. <laughs> What's that for you up to? And bad day for the Tekans. Yes, it is. Okay, so anyways, there's a boss card, and we'll carry on, because we only got a couple minutes left, so let's see what we can do here. Ah, critical breakthrough on colonization. It's only 6% left, but I'll take it. So it can't be cancel or, uh, put back on us now. So we're about to get to colonization. That sounds like a great spot to leave this stream today. So, And how are we doing in here? Let's get rid of this last one. What's on that? Eh, a bit of steel and stuff. Okay. So go get that. And that's another source. Oh, okay. I think it was this one there. Yeah, that was the luxury. Uh, let's see, I think I gave, yeah, you're still retrofitting. So none of you guys took those orders I've been issuing. Independent colony discovered, another at Tuk. Ooh, it's 1.6 billion. Oh, and the murderous marauders are building a pirate base on it. 55% complete. This is going to be a pirate planet soon. Yes, that's not good news at all.
And our engineers have completed defense tactics. All right. And I think we're doing gravitic net weapons next. So, and what are we doing after colonization? I think I better get into some target tracking. I wouldn't mind just maybe doing this. Getting into the fleet stuff. Although I have one ship that does have the fleet stuff on it. I got another idea. Should I come out here? Get my usual trade traders bazaar? Or am I too late for that? Somebody else might snipe it on us. Well, let's queue it up. I'll figure that out later. And how's our science doing? 437, we're at 460. Or 450, so that should be fine. No, 480. 480. And we'll try this again. <laughs> no idea what's in there. And Homeworld Reserves is done. I might just bring them over here. If nothing else, they can distract any pirates in there while we drop our troops. Uh, did that pirate base do anything else? No, it's still there. Hey, I got two troops here, too. Cool. Oh, I don't think anybody's in here. There's nobody in here. Okay, let's grab that invasion force. Oh. Oh, I got another troop general. I didn't even notice that. Ah. Oh. Ah, we don't have PC Dragon. Uh, I'm not going to put the word productions. That's going to be a little long. We'll just call you PC Dragon. There we go. You're a new troop general. I hope you survive. <laughs> Anyways, yes, we can probably just come right in and drop that. Yellow punched up the Tekans real good, yeah. Oh, they lost planets too. That's a shame. Yeah, that's not bad, eh? Yeah. A full war and uh, <laughs> I didn't have to lift it a finger. <laughs> I wanted them gone and they're gone. Uh, we have recovery research bonus and advanced enhanced hyperdrives. How much of that did we get? That was from that ship I sent for dis, uh, disassembly. Got it all. Our speed is now 15,000. Beautiful. Ooh, we're a good chunk into this, too. Excellent. All right. Well, I guess I can take Homer Reserves back home where they belong, and I'll just re-automate them. Vicious 202. Doing a fantastic job, buddy. Except I still don't have stations on this stuff I just claimed, because this retrofitting is taking forever. Where are you? Oh, you went somewhere else, maybe? Oh, what was that? A critical breakthrough. Just as we got started at 0%, that never happens. It's usually when you got like 95% of it done, you get it. Right at 0%, we got triple speed on that the whole time. Rob, you the man. I'm really happy how this game is going. Okay, uh, what was I in here for? Oh, I was looking at construction ships and why they're taking so long to retrofit. What is going on at Homeworld? That nope, should be getting done. Maybe it just took a while to get back. All right. And I think since we got 90 grand, I'm just going to throw a few more escorts out. Oh, the Kazarians are in for fuel.
And for a trade bonus, 5k. Month three so far this year, we made 5k off their trade. That's pretty good. And how's Homeworld looking? 23 billion. 7% growth. Excellent. Wow. <laughs> ah. So JK is back from uh, grabbing that map. So the Oscarns are right there. We got a pirate right next door. All right. And I'm hoping that you guys are getting along with the Gazarians. Uh, looks like you're a little annoyed. Hmm. Naturally like us. Could butter them up with a bit more money. Plus two. And we got minus 24 to, to uh, make up for here. So we're going to actually have a pretty good relationship as well. I just hope them and the Gazurians get along. They kind of appear to be angry and annoyed with each other. So that might be just first contact stuff, hopefully. All right, so we're coming up on 10 o'clock. So the war is well underway. The war that I'm just watching. <laughs> now, if the Tekans would have uh, attacked the uh, Gazurians, we would have had to go in and do something. But uh, luckily, it didn't have to work out that way. And I think our troops are on the ground. They are. We will garrison those. So now, if we look at troops here, our Slukin Exterminators are 16, 8, and 13, 5. And the Tekans are 81 and 65 and cost much more money. So we'll definitely get rid of those. I'm going to leave them for now until we maybe get rid of this pirate base first. And have a bit of support on the ground. And we'll bring you back home. And maybe I'll throw a round of frigates in the homeworld reserves. There's ten more of those. All right, and I think we'll pause here. We're kind of right at 10 o'clock. We'll have a quick look around and see what the situation is. So yeah, we have Buscarns here, Gazarians there. So hopefully they will get along, but being side by side, I think they'll be all right. They're, they should like each other. They're both hive minds and insectoids, so they should get along. There's no guarantee that they will, but they should. Uh, it looks like we're going to keep this. Now they got more troops on the ground. I'm a little more confident there. Uh, we still got to get rid of that pirate base, but when? <laughs> I lost every troop against that. But I think the pirates came in and dropped more troops is what happened. Because these aren't generally that tough to get. And the populations are starting to come around as well. And Gazurians are settling here. Yes, we do have Assimilate on. Do we have any Gazarians at Homeworld? No. But they are migrating here. Okay. Yeah, we're assimilating insectoids, but enslaving everybody else. So what I could do is get a planet, set it up as a penal colony, and then change this to resettle, and any other races that are here will go to the penal colony, and then that penal colony will have the designation of enslave. So basically, they'll be resettled 
to the to the uh, penal colony to be slaves, which we will get going once we get a few more planets. Yeah, very cool. And the advisors are suggesting we do something with our intelligence. Uh, Jeffrey Brown. You're doing very well against the Tikans, so I think we'll just keep that up. Oh, Tikans got a lot of stuff. Damage control, that's nice. Countermeasures. Component prefabrication, I think, is another ship size, is it not? Or is that... No, that's what we're just searching right now, I think. Nope. Component prefabrication. Ship size 400. I think we'll go for that. So that's what Jeffrey Brown's up to. JK will remain and do her or as, uh, as counter espionage. Uh, how's our leader looking? Fight for Dave. Calling of Happiness is still suffering by minus 20%. But we don't seem to be suffering too heavily over it. We're still plus 25. I'm not taxing overly heavy. All right, well, can I take a quick look at this screen? Yeah, we're still looking pretty pathetic. Uh, Buscarans are pretty much as pathetic as we are. <laughs> and the Gazurians are just rocking it. Yeah, spend the most time at war. Build the most military ships in the galaxy. Yeah, keep your empire's leader alive. Now, this is what I was talking about when I dismissed my leader the other day and we got re-rolled another one. The Gazurians, you don't want to do that. You get one. That's it. You're without one until the end of the game. Till the end of the game, if you dismiss that one. Uh, Tekken, start the fuse wars, and okay. Hey, anyways, uh, what was that about the great swoopins? Oh, exterminate or enslave the most people in the galaxy. Ha! Ah! We're out doing the boss guards. We've enslaved five hundred and twelve million. The way it's supposed to go. Uh, yeah, we are. Yeah, Kazarians are like, ugh, almost triple our score. Tekans aren't very far behind them. It's a good thing they're fighting each other. They're more evenly matched. All right, population Kazarians, of course, uh, we're right behind them though. Territory, we're starting to expand now. We got colonization, so that'll be the next thing when we come back. Is uh, on. Uh, Tuesday is we will uh, start some export or some expansion uh, through colonization. Speaking of which, uh, or what marshy swamp? We could get an ocean. Uh... Oh, where is that? It's in our home world too. Uh, it's only a sixty-five percent quality though. Ocean worlds kind of suck, really. There's a 7619. I don't think I've ever come across an ocean world I was really, really impressed with. That one's big, but quality's pretty low. And it's all outside of range, anyways. All right, and strategic value H, Guardians, of course, Kazarians, and we're third. Military, <laughs> 75,000. One thing I haven't checked yet one colony. Still don't know where it is, though. Yeah, we haven't got a clue where that is yet. Ancient guard. Oh, there it is. Utopia. I guess we do know where it is. Let's go have a look at that. Oh, there it is. Way over here. That must have just got revealed. 19 billion growing up 5%. Ancient Galactic Archives. I think that's a special wonder that they get. Or uh, rune. If I recall, what's it do? Yeah, fifty percent development bonus, empire-wide colony income bonus of a hundred percent. We need to take that <laughs> eventually. Yeah, so that's where they are with one colony. So they're not doing the super expansion thing. Let's look at here. Uh, Naval Academy, Science Academy, uh, Giant Ion Canna. Yeah, it's just uh, planetary facilities. 
So they're working as intended. Perfect. All right, uh, I think we'll call it at that. Just have a quick look at chat before I go. Um, it is destined to build the bazaar, the, or the bazaar. The critical breakthrough proves this. Yes, that was awesome. Yeah, I usually get it like when you're just about done. Critical breakthrough, it's like big deal, right? But at 0%, that's, that's amazing. Yes, I'm super happy with that. Ooh, we're going to have to increase our science again soon. Okay, what else we got? Uh, were those new escorts under construction assigned to a fleet? No. No, escorts I just build and let them go do whatever. They follow those freighters around and they pop their heads in other systems and fight slugs and stuff like that. So that's kind of my uh, my idea with them. Just spam them out. Let them do what they want. Viper Dave, great stream. Thanks. I had a tons of fun. This, was, this is actually turning into a really good game. I'm liking it. Uh, we personally, as a race, are sucking it, but uh, I think we're going we're gonna to have a couple of good allies on our side this time. So yeah, I'm uh, kind of looking forward to playing this out again. That is really weird about the core, though. I always play in the core. I never go to the outer rim like I am this game, but there's never any of this in the core. It's always out here somewhere. And now all these debris fields are here. You never know what to expect with this game, and that's why I love playing it. Every game is just a new experience. Yep. Okay. Uh, no, no, have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. Viper Dave. Same. Yeah, I got past one. Hey, we're heading to three. Episode three. <laughs> and JK, ah, excellent. This has been a great as usual. Looking forward to the next stream. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So yeah, Tuesday night, we'll do it again. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a quick save here while we wrap things up. Save game as number three. Three! Three! <laughs> Debris field where players, where the player aren't. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. All right. Beautiful. Okay, thanks for stopping by, everyone. And it was a lot of fun, and we'll definitely catch you next time. Have a great day.